Hello, and welcome to Indianapolis in the IndyCar. It just makes sense, huh? I figured that even though I'm not too familiar with IndyCar, let me get that volume fixed a little bit. I'm not uh, too familiar with IndyCar. Um, I don't frequent it very often, but I gotta try this combo at some, at some point, right? It's legendary, so. Um, Indy's always a little tricky whenever I sign up for it because uh, my oval I rating usually puts me as a pretty low number. Um, as a pretty low number, but my inexperience with IndyCar ooh, liked, um, my inexperience makes it so that uh, I cannot get the spots that uh, expects me to get. I forgot that it automatically takes fuel out, so uh, I want to be in sixth gear here. Um, so, usually this is a uh, pretty uh, guaranteed way for me to lose I rating, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Just trying to have some fun and do something I'm uh, not too familiar with. Man, this thing's so scary on edge. Um, I just got to... You know, be smooth with this thing. Gotta be careful of all the arrow push. And uh, don't hit a pebble or you'll explode. That's kind of just how the Endercar works. Let's see if we can improve here. Thing is, I'm sure most people that are familiar with Endercar have done this combination dozens of times. Because, uh, I mean, it's Indy. It's Endercar at Indy. So, this is my first time, uh, as far as I can remember, trying uh, Indy at Indy. And uh, I'm sure everyone else has plenty more experience. So, going to be an uphill battle. But it always is when I uh, hop into something I'm not uh, too familiar with. So, so, yeah, that was a little faster that time, but, <laughs> but apparently our spot went down as we improved our time. That was uh, kind of funny. Uh, did we outpace anybody? Pretty much no. That guy might be doing another lap too. And uh, they only give you enough fuel to do the exact lap, so I can't uh, mess around for fun. As I'm waiting for this thing to start, because I am already out of fuel. And uh, as usual, okay, fuel will be important for the race too, because you got a pit in this series. Uh, you're not going to make it on fuel the whole way. <coughs> well, maybe we will keep that spot. And uh, another person was behind, but that's assume I assume that's their first lap. So, we'll see, I thought about uh, just not qualifying at all, so uh, I didn't have to put myself in the mix of things. But as the number two car, I think I was either going to end up qualifying in the front or qualifying in the middle, because even if I did put a time in, I'm probably going to end up in the middle. So. Although it's looking like a lot of people uh, qualified, and my time was apparently poor enough that uh, I'm going to be basically at the bottom tier of the, those who qualified anyway. So, we'll right, see. Um, not sure, you know, what I could have. I don't know what I'm doing differently from these guys. They got like 39 fives and all that stuff. I don't know what I'm doing different. It's fixed, so can't really uh, change anything. Felt like pretty straightforward. I mean, I know you're uh, basically on the throttle the whole time. Maybe they, uh, maybe I'm taking the wrong angle. They took the fuel out for me. Is it the steering offset stuff? No idea. I know there's weight jacker as well. Um, you can make it looser, and I guess that would potentially make it faster. That could be it. No idea. But uh, we're kind of starting near the back anyway, so. Alright. That's cool of me. I will spend some time learning out there. That's the end of the session. And hopefully not get caught in uh, any wrecks. Not sure how uh, messy these races tend to be. Because like I said, it's the first time. One to go. Next time by. 
Guess we'll put that uh, all time best up just for fun. See uh, if we're setting any blazing fast laps. Crew Chief's ready to give us fueling tips and info so I don't have to do trigonometry in my head while I'm racing. Probably best for everyone out here that I'm focusing 100% on what I'm doing on the track. Obviously, uh, draft is huge. Aero push is just as huge. Got to lift pretty good to make sure you're going to make it through the corner because you're not going to be able to flat foot it in traffic. This is all stuff that's very obvious to people <laughs> that uh, are familiar with Indy, but um, stuff that I got to you know remind myself coming in here. So starting 12th, it's at 16 total people in the race. Is that correct? I think that's right. I'm pretty much in the back. Let's we'll see what happens. Be going here before too long. Looks like most people are queued up, except for maybe the person directly behind me. We got to our left. Super Dave. Interesting. Well, we got Super Dave and <laughs> his Super Dave vehicle to our left. We've got a full sellout crowd here at the Indy 500. Uh, there are two additional I'm nervous. I've had uh, some rough goes at it in IndyCar in the past, trying to learn it. The track temp is one Getting sideways because this thing uh, can get a break loose pretty quick. And, uh, you know, getting tight out of the corners and exploding. So I've got to do neither of those things. But uh, try to learn from those experiences I've had in the past and avoid them in the future. But don't expect me to finish second. I hope nobody <laughs> thinks that's going to happen. I may be the number two, but that's very, very unlikely. I'd have to be very fortunate enough to avoid some big wrecks or something for that to happen. We'll be zooming at typical IndyCar speeds of 200 plus. Not sure what it tops out here, but uh, I think you can just sum it up with fast with a capital F. Um, kind of got a weird brake check there. Make sure I don't run into anyone. Well, pacing, that would be embarrassing. I think that happened last time at Dover before the race started. Someone ran into the back of someone while pacing. Thankfully, it was not me. That race went pretty well. I was very happy with that. Can't remember exactly what I got. It was like third or something like that. But uh, much better than I expected. But in that case, I qualified up front. In this, ca in this case, I clearly don't know how to get around very fast. So, it's going to be something a little different, I think. Wow, we're really far from the pace car. Look at that. Wow. Didn't even notice. Not green yet. No one run into me. Okay. Looks like there were some false starts from some guys. Okay, guy on our inside. It's Super Dave. Loose. Clear. Don't hit the wall. Get that arrow push. Oh man, they're moving like crazy up there. <laughs> Number one guy, what are you guys doing? So, they might be kind of sketchy up there. Maybe it'll serve me well to back off a bit. Take it uh, super speedway style. Having a look. Is the guy potentially hitting the wall? Nope. They lifted. Oh, I'm 
accidentally back <laughs> up behind him. I don't know. Do I want to lift off and just take it easy? That draft's probably pretty important though if you want to catch back up. So really the early uh does seem to be a lot of parallels with super speedway racing. That's a guy in the wall! Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh Okay, you're alive. The thing about going 225 miles an hour is things happen fast. So you gotta be able to react kind of fast too. Somehow that was not a yellow flag, so I guess they got below the apron. <laughs> so <laughs> alright. We're okay. See, look how good we are. We're uh we're doing fine. Everything's peachy. Uh, they look like they might be backing out. Not sure. Or they were just breaking the draft, maybe. Oh, that was a tap of the wall. Looked like a pink car up there. Hmm. Watch out for that. Give a good big lift off so we can. Uh, have full maneuverability of our vehicle through these corners. I'm happy with where I am. I believe we're in the top ten, right? Ooh, going for pass maybe right there. Yeah, ninth place. Not sure if that needed updated or not. Ooh, kind of into weird. Um, I'd be happy with the top ten. I'd lose I rating, but I'd be happy with it. Single digits would be great. Hmm. Definitely see uh, some more accidents before this thing's over. And uh, we still got to go through the uh, strategy calls as well. One thing I'm not too familiar with is how important tires are in terms of like trying to save those. Tire push. Uh, I don't know if like tire saving is a thing at all. I don't know if like, oh, you take the corners a little softer if you want to save tires. I don't know if that's a thing. That might be a stock car only type thing. That's just uh, my ignorance showing. My ignorance to IndyCar. Try to get kind of under, lower than the other guys, so we can... Oh! No, 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 no! Oh my god, I thought he was coming back to kill me. Well, that's a pass. Um, that's a very quick pit entry. Maybe he's... I mean, I know he's not... I know he didn't do it on purpose, but... He's got that alternate fuel strategy going where he comes in on lap six, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of pit entry, I did practice that a little bit. I think I got a got a good feeling for it. Nice, respectable feeling for it. Oh, I saw some smoke. That was concerning. Oops. Let me make sure I'm shifting so I can take advantage of this draft. Turn. Oh my god, that's so scary when it doesn't turn. To consider going to fourth if he gets that bogged down. Number 13 is catching us behind. Not sure if he's going to be interested in passing or if he's uh, going to hang out. I'll let him go if he uh, wants to go. I'm not trying to do anything right now. And some weird uh, frame drops. I'm not a fan of that. Whenever that happens, it makes me wonder if there's a. Uh, damaged car somewhere that's causing that. Had to go to fourth there. Because uh, the damage model can cause some computer things. Computer slowdown. Because it's got to render all that new damage model. And this, uh, these cars got a lot of little pieces that can fly wow, off of it. Hard. But 
Uh-oh, what happened to the guy behind us? There was a guy behind us not that long ago. He must have had some issues. Well, uh, just surviving has done some good things for us already. So I'll keep doing it. Hey, staying alive. I see them fanning out up there, so they must be racing somewhat hard. Trying to do some passes. Eighth place. Okay. Ooh, those guys get so close to the wall. It's probably faster, but I'm a little too scared to get that close to the wall. Well into this guy's draft and therefore dirty air. Okay. Getting a feel for how uh, far you can push into the arrow. It's not like we have a huge group in front of us, so... Got a couple guys. I'm still convinced we'll end up having a caution before this thing's over, so not too concerned about passing or anything. Pink's going for the pass though. Looks like he couldn't quite get it done. Going for it again though. <laughs> lift out nice and well. Oh, they got close. Oh, he's going for the crossover. They are wasting a lot of time. And being dangerous. <laughs> Just gonna give them room. Like the uh, field in front's just gonna walk away some more. These guys are fighting for sixth. Man, that's a great finish though, sixth. Just okay, checking my fuel, see how much we will need to get. at the moment, just uh, following these dudes. Ooh, pushing bad. That fourth seems to really help when it gets really, uh, really tight. Glad I kind of figured out that was a good thing to do. Just kind of waiting for the next person to Overdrive it, hit the wall, maybe cause a caution. Long race. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm so scared of pushing up, I just completely let off. Well, we're not going to do that anymore. Tested it out though, seeing how it feels. I think I'll go ahead and do my passes by uh, just trying to get it done on the, on the straight itself. Going forward. Come on, car turn.
ahead and put the last lap up because that best lap's not helping me at all. Ugh, entered too shallow and that put me in a bad spot. Start to feel more comfortable. Knowing what the car's gonna do a little bit better. And there's that yellow. As foretold in the legends. Looks like it was a lap car potentially getting off of pit road. That's the, uh oh, no, there's the leader. Uh oh. Was the leader? What happened? Uh, somebody lost it in front, and the leader did extra much. That was unfortunate. That was a big holding break. Normal break. I'd like to catch the field. These guys are uh, up to it. Up out of turn two. Poor leader. Sounds like they got put in a bad spot or something. Couldn't quite uh, figure out what they were trying to say up into them. Should give us enough uh, fuel during this pit stop to make it to the end. We'll put tires on it. And uh, that'll put us in seventh. It's crazy. Playing that survival game. And uh, maybe we'll try to keep up with them this time. Still not so sure about that, but <laughs> maybe. We'll see how it looks. Pit speed limiter on an Indy car. That's a uh, nice and helpful. Keep it exactly at sixty. Too far back. <laughs> kind of learning how uh, these pit stops go. All clear. Punch it. Let's go ahead and let that guy go. Fine with that. That's a broken Indy car. Holy cow, that thing looks like a Frankenstein's monster. Uh, yeah, the tires seem to be a thing. 83, 88. I'm not sure if you could save them in any way, but it was very clearly getting tighter as the run went on. That's, uh, I might need to remember to put some weight jacker in there. That's another thing I could uh, keep in mind. Apparently we need to be saving fuel. So, well, let's do it and not forget to turn it back zero point four gallons gonna save zero point four they say I think we can do it Plus, I have my uh, settings set that they're uh, extra careful with uh, how much to save. So I got a little bit of extra. Zero point four gallons. We'll keep checking in on that. Now maybe we should come in and get some more. I don't know. 
It's one of those things where uh, maybe getting up to speed uses up more fuel than the tiny bit you just added. I think that's a thing. I'm cool with this. What is the six doing? Did they just leave? What just happened? Why'd they stop? Sorry, dude. I was trying to work with you. Dude. I'm just fucking redneck NASCAR driver trying to figure this thing out. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Yeah, yeah. I was chilling. I, I was doing the same thing you were trying to figure it out. Well, let's set this back to one. I still don't know why he just stopped like that. And then I went through before the race and I mapped all my buttons out and had everything set up and half of them saved, half of them didn't. Alright, anyway, let's go. Weird. Well, uh, we, it gave us a spot because you can't come to a stop while pacing like that. Maybe he meant to do it so he would be back there. I have no idea. I was trying to figure out if there were cautions or not because there was three pretty big wreck there, and I, the yellow flag never came out, I'm thinking, what's that spot? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that first one that I, I saw was not a caution, I guess they got below the eight one. We got just enough fuel to get to the end, according to this. fanning out. I'm just going to focus on what I'm doing. Remember, it's going to be a little looser at the start. Alright. We see those guys fan out to the left, and I think guys are wrecking. Because all of a sudden there's a car where I don't necessarily expect them to be. Oh, shoot. Okay, well. <laughs> that guy is gone. That's another spot. Don't be that guy. And you can make some quote unquote passes. Still not even halfway there either. And that's something. Let me I'm chasing the draft. Like a real race car. That does race car things. I got a gap between 5th and 4th. I wanted to try to kind of stay up here just in case it goes green to the end or something, but... I'm actually going to do something here. Oop. Let's get the arrow push. I'm going to and put this on engine map 2. Maybe save a tiny bit of fuel. According to this, it's fine. You got loads. <laughs> if I put it on that one, so... We'll uh, go ahead and put it there for a while. I don't think it's going to affect our speed that much. And uh, we'll be sure uh, we'll definitely have enough for the end. Yeah, alright. Because uh, basically our options are go a little bit faster and be risky on fuel, but be more in their aero push. Go a little slower, be safer on fuel, and have less aero push. Seems fine to me. I feel like the uh, our pace will even out. All right, Colton. That's long distance. Fuel levels Just because we don't want to lift as much for aero push, so. Just 
don't forget I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> don't take anything I say in this video as a as a pro tip. Don't do that. I'm clueless here. Hmm, according to this, we're like gonna run out on turn four right before the line or something. Might shift it to map three if we need to. We'll see. Kind of just on our line here. Hiding uh, the car in front of me behind the pillar. It's uh, called uh, the Halo. Is that what they call it, or is that just Formula One that calls it that? I don't know. It's gonna protect me when I. Go flying off the track and make a new crater on the moon, though. We'll say I'm having more fun uh, racing this thing than I did with the next gen last week. At least you got like the speeds going and like it's a little on edge, you know. I'm not sure if I could uh, catch these guys in front if I wanted to. I'm not sure what I could even do about it. Probably weight jacker. That's probably what I would need to do. That's pretty scary though. Yeah, car's on edge. Let's make it more on edge. Yeah, sounds great. going in case that's not a caution. Is that a lap car or did we get a spot from that? We'll find out when we get to the line. Or I mean, people that actually pay attention probably already know, but I was uh, more busy focused on not hitting him than I was on whether their name was Blue on the bottom right corner. Might get a top five at this rate if it was. Um, I think it might have been a lap car. Because I'm still seventh. Oh well. Still plenty of time in this one for things to go awry for others and uh, for me. I'd be kind of pushing to see if I could reach the guy in front. I don't even think I can. If I wanted to. I'm just stuck here. to move forward I would have to put some weight jacker in it I guess and uh, maybe I'll try doing that when there's like I don't know, five laps to go start experimenting with that for now just riding hoping there's no huge crashes right behind that tiny little pillar in the center Just 
dipped it in six there. It seemed to work pretty well. Didn't have enough arrow push to need to shift down. There's the arrow push. Oh no! Oh my god. I think I barely hit that soft enough to not cause damage. <laughs> it just didn't turn. It didn't turn anymore. I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, it's not like we were passing the guy in front of us anyway. But I almost became uh, a free spot for the three car that time. That was crazy how much push I had. Well, time to be even more careful. Oh boy. Since I almost died because the car was tight, let's put some weight checker in it. Uh oh, what's that gonna do? Plenty of fuel. Wonder if I can switch. Oh, Jesus Christ! I don't know what's going wrong, man. Wonder if I can switch back to uh, faster. I forgot I uh, even had that here. Ooh, now we're going really fast. According to that, no, we cannot. Well, I'll stick with it though. Because that's pretty close. Never mind, it's going up. Put that back. Not saying where you have just enough. Get tight every corner now. Two clicks. Let's see what that does. Checker, I think might be helping. Could be all in my head, but I know, uh, I mean, for a fact, it's gonna be a little looser. That's just uh, how it works, so. Alright, well, if uh, I'm not dead here, let's go ahead and do a little more. Roll those dice. there. I think it helped prevent it from getting really tight again. Just don't let it snap on me. Watching what they're doing up there. Trying to anyway. I'm bobbling a little bit. Gonna be able to make up any ground on these guys? Oh. I cannot get this thing turned. Even with the weight jacker. Is catching. He's uh, doing it better than I am, I guess. Just trying to follow the 
guys in spawn. <sighs> Will we get any more cautions? Hey, that was a great turn. How'd I do that? Probably just no arrow. No dirty air right on me. If we can make up some ground on the number seven. Could get some crashes at the end as guys are really pushing the limit on the weight jacker and trying to get some speed. Zero gallons, it said. We're close. I wonder if anyone else, uh, if anyone's going to be unable to make it. I wonder if I can use the fourth gear a little more often, even though, uh, might not be completely necessary to help get it turned. Oh, we're reaching this seven. Not sure how. I think we can go back to one. We'll keep a close eye, but I think we can. got close to him and started getting so tight. Passed us and then he didn't. Car and then we pass. Now he's in my dirty air. <laughs> That was uh, an interesting set of laps we had. Now what do we do? I didn't think we'd get this far. There's a whole lot of empty track in front of us, that's for sure. This thing's really easy to turn when you got that weight jacker on it. I can't believe it's been so long since I had clean air. almost forgot what this feels like. The turn the wheel is hard. It's like uh, you pick something up and it's like 50 pounds every time you pick it up, and then all of a sudden it weighs two pounds, and you go to pick it up and it's like you launch it to the ceiling. That's kind of what it feels like, but I'm turning this car now. I think if they wreck at this point, it will be over. Because uh, no green white checkers in India, as far as I know. So if they want to go ahead and do that and give me a top five, you know, they can feel free. Because I'm not catching them any other way. 
gonna have to have some sort of mistake for that to happen. So we are a good five seconds back. Sixth place though, if I get sixth place, that's awesome. Better than I could have hoped for. I don't even care that I'm not number two. I am not the number two IndyCar driver in this room, in this server. I don't know, maybe in this room, my fiance is in the room. Maybe my cat, is my cat in the room? I might be the third. So, let's see, we're winding down. Two laps to go, our guy's gonna be going crazy. Are they even close enough to each other to be able to do anything? Seems like they're all a second apart, probably dealing with that dirty air, so it might not even be possible. Maybe uh, we have to hope not that they run into each other, but that uh, they try to push it too far on the weight jacker and spin themselves out. Something like that. One flag. My flag. So if anything happens up there, uh, no cautions coming out for them. We're just finishing this thing. So we're good on the fuel. Glad we saved like we did, or else uh, might not have made it. Had about two laps left. We've been running on the uh, we were running on the two fuel map number two for a while. That helped us give us uh, the ability to go to fuel map one. At the end, and uh, I think that helped us catch up to uh, the seven. I guess it was. Look like they've fallen back pretty good. The number three. <laughs> they came back after that save. Hey, I'm not gonna do it to you. Sixth place. Okay, it's <laughs> over. So, well, well, flag, pick a flag. Good, day. good job. Very Dude, good job. You should have seen my fucking save. Wait, I guess you did. Oh my god. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. My first time running these bars. Yeah, it was quite a safe three. I saw it. Uh, good race, everyone. <laughs> yeah, good race to everyone that survived. Yeah, these cars, you can't do that. I don't know how he managed to save it. So, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, sixth. Ooh, excuse me, I popped my back. Oh, I was so stiff racing this thing. So, very happy with that. Tires ended up 66, 78. Let's see uh, what we can find. Now, see uh, plenty of these guys that uh, hit the wall like that. Oh, and uh, see exactly how it went down. Or did I? Wasn't I right behind it? Might have suppressed it from my memory. It was so traumatic. Oh, yep, I remember that now. <laughs> yep, fond memories of this one. So I see him going there. So I'm like, all right, I guess I gotta go right. Well, that debris didn't do anything to me. I don't know if it can, but uh, it didn't, thankfully. We we'll continue on to live another day. that contact oh and the uh, the other guy looks like he hit down uh, headed down pit road With his broken tire left these things you can't really fix most of the time either it'll tell you like yep you got too much damage like uh, they're fragile and uh, not easy to repair That was uh, that looked like my little wall hit where I got really lucky. I didn't hit it hard enough to cause a problem. Mm. Yeah, pulled the dice there too. I think eventually he he did hit the wall too hard though. Oh, this was a guy entering pit road a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> Actually, uh, he made. Pit road line. Ooh. 
Did you get to continue on? You sure did. It sure looks like you did. You just had to go through Pit Road. Could have been much worse for him. We'll make sure to take a look at his save, too, on lap uh, 44 or 45. Ooh, that was close. Broken. Coming up fast. Oh my god. Uh, scary. Yeah, I made it fast. I got a pump. And that's a bit fast. These cars, man, the marks are very, very small. Yeah, the arrow fish in these is fantastic. Um, I actually did set up the Indian brilliant. So the whole hmm. time I was messing with my leg jacket, like if I'm on the straightaway, I'm like cranking it down, negative, 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 and if I'm behind somebody going into a turn, I'm like... So negative two, makes it tighter, three. I think. Is there anything else that I should be changing? No, that's pretty much it, but I finished fifth after they finished ahead of me. That's a mistake, and maybe I'm the wrong one. Yeah, man, these things are right. Ooh. That's what happened to the leader. Wow. So what started this? Yeah, I can't believe how few, well, I don't understand why they went yellow. Um, My car having some serious issues. He spins it on their own. You know, coming from NASCAR, man, when I see people wrecking in front of me, oh. I get on the brakes. I get on the brakes hard. I mean, I'd rather just back off. And it happened like three times, like big wrecks. And no, no caution came out. What the fuck? Is there no caution? The track get configured differently about how much of the cars will huh. take before yellow is gone. But it just means this back here, you, you're the idiot if you slow down. Whereas normally you're, you're the idiot if you stay, stay full throttle. So it, it just means wreck is going to be wreck. Yeah, roger that. Well, You'll probably see me again. This is uh, a lot of fun. He's taking a listen to what these guys are saying. Because uh, number three is kind of in my position where I'm most, mostly a NASCAR guy. So coming into these things, I don't have uh, experience. Ooh. That's interesting. I just uh, think uh, the number six maybe came down a little too far, maybe. And, uh, upset him. Say this car and you ended up up there. Here's me, this is where I got lucky. It just stopped turning. Ooh, that's about as hard as you can hit it without it breaking, I think. That was lucky. And uh, that's the end of the race, so let's see that uh, save real quick. 44 or 45 ish. Here. Oh yeah, I made the pass on me and then did it. <laughs> so he just got a great run, so he was able to make the pass. I leave the top open for him. Let's back out. Still got a lot of speed coming through here, and I think maybe he hits the arrow push. Oh, no, he did not hit the arrow push. He was going so fast, he must have had some weight jacker in there. I think I was probably the one doing the weight jacker wrong. I'll have to look into that. I always get it confused because I think it's the opposite of the silver crown. Something like that. I don't know. Can you even see a uh, weight jacker here? There it is. Can't adjust it from here, I guess, but... Um, here was a save. <laughs> made it uh, look easy but that's not easy once this thing's sideways usually you're uh, kind of done at this point and especially not knowing much about Indy kind of like me been able to uh, get that back straight again it saved him uh, probably just a spot some, but some safety rating and sense of accomplishment of finishing the race and uh, of course that was it so all right Number two finishes sixth, but in a series that I'm not familiar with. And I uh, started 12th, so I made it up a lot. And 
Uh, a lot of those were uh, wreck guys, but I made at least one pass, one legitimate pass. <laughs> that was the seven, I think it was. Was it the seven? I don't remember. I think it was, yeah. But uh, can we see that? Will we be able to see that? That was uh, a few laps back, yeah. So we passed them for real. I think they didn't add any uh, weight jack or anything, so they were getting real tight. So I get uh, under his arrow a little bit. I'm catching him pretty good. Under his arrow. I uh, didn't spin it like the other guy, or half spin it, and uh, that meant that I got through the corner. He almost kind of just let me have it, almost maybe. I don't know. He wasn't fighting it too hard if he uh, was fighting it. Although he did, you know, try to come back and get my draft. Kind of juked him a little bit. I needed to be up here anyway. And I uh, drove away from him. I think I'm getting more uh, rotation in the corners now because of the weight jacker. So, all right. I'm happy with that. Don't uh, know how iRacing's gonna feel about it <laughs> and uh, my eye rating change, but uh, my personal rating has increased. The driver rating, the invisible driver rating. <laughs> all right, stop saying stupid stuff <laughs> and say goodbye for now. Um, goodbye from uh, Indianapolis in the IndyCar. It was pretty fun.